everyone, my name is Carol and I'm a freelance lifestyle journalist who also runs almostdiplomatic.com where I share about my life as a millennial diplomat's wife. Today is the 14th of March and spring is slowly creeping up on us. It was such a glorious sunny day and this was after months of cold and gloomy weather in Berlin. But as of 3 p.m. today, Germany already has 3,795 confirmed, like laboratory confirmed cases of COVID-19. I have a lot of friends from all over the world asking me how life is like here in Berlin ever since the cases of COVID-19 went up here in Europe. So I thought, why not just show you guys instead? First off, my husband and I are doing pretty fine and thank you to my friends who sent messages privately asking how we're doing. And right now we are following the advice of the host government, uh, in this case Germany, to maintain social distance. After all, diplomatic immunity doesn't mean that you are immune from disease. Embassies also have consular services. Despite the situation, this type of work continues, but of course they also don't want to unwittingly contribute to the spread of the virus, so they are also taking precautions there. So to those who are asking, yes, the embassy remains open and my husband and his colleagues all go to work still. And if you want any more information, you should uh, follow them on social media. I will put links down below just so you can remain updated and you'll get the news first. As of today, there are no restrictions when it comes to individual movement for people who have not been diagnosed with COVID-19 or those who have not been in contact with people who have tested positive. However, there are now restrictions when it comes to events. And please take note that this can change. And remember that this was filmed on the 14th of March. We went out today to get some supplies real quick, but we had to go to three different grocery stores because some of the things that we needed were out of stock in certain branches. But we thought we would do a drive around the city just so that I could film and show you guys how it looks like here in Berlin today. And following the advice to maintain social distance, uh, we decided to stay in the car most of the time and for the grocery store run, only one person got off, me, uh, to pick up the groceries so as not to add one more person into the number of people inside the store. As you can see, there's still lots of tourists in Berlin's usual spots. Kurfürstendamm, which is the shopping street near where we live, feels like a normal Saturday but with slightly less people. Everywhere else still feels pretty normal but you have to take into account that the sun was out today. Sunshine is pretty irresistible when you're living in Berlin. Friedrichstrasse wasn't as crowded though. It's usually full of shoppers on a Saturday but not today. It was in the grocery stores where you feel that there's something unusual. So we went to two Edikas and both places have run out of rice, pasta, flour, eggs, and certain types of bread. Uh, certain fruits and veggies were also running low, uh, but I got lucky and got the last carton of eggs available. So there's still lots of coffee, Easter sweets, meat, and chips. So if you're, you know, if you're a snacker, there's still chips. <laughs> So the Asian supermarket is your best bet if you're in need of rice. The Go Asia store at the underground of Karstadt in Kurfürstendamm is not crowded at all and still has a lot of choices. I also bought small packs of dumplings for some quick meals at home. Okay guys, so as you can see, the Asian grocery stores here in Berlin still have a lot of stock, especially for rice and noodles. So if you're looking for those in the usual groceries like Etika or Raven and it's already run out, then I suggest you go and visit an Asian grocery store as well. Honestly, this whole social distancing is rather difficult because I am very social and I do love being outside. However, this is our contribution to the efforts of not spreading the virus. My husband and I had travel plans for Turkey and Greece this month and these were booked well in advance. However, we decided to cancel them back in February. Although we're young and pretty healthy, 
we thought that it was the prudent thing to do, especially since we don't want to help in spreading the virus and possibly giving it to people who are vulnerable, our loved ones included. My husband has older parents and my dad is now 75. And right now I'm also refraining from visiting him in Scandinavia just to be on the safe side. If it's just a vacation or you're just going for sightseeing, then maybe now is not the right time to do it. So many people have dismissed it as just the flu and so far it has killed over 5,000 people worldwide. And these are real people, they're not just numbers. Hospitals are also being overwhelmed, so let's all do our part. We've kept ourselves updated with the situation ever since it started and so for the past couple of weeks we've just been adding a couple of pieces more to the usual items that we buy in the grocery store so that we just have a buffer in case self-isolation becomes necessary and I'm trying to still have a routine it's not that I'm not really going out at all but I'm trying to do most of the things that I can do at home like just here so I'm working out at home more using my peloton and just trying to work out at home more instead of going to cafes and if you're planning on giving up your pet at this time because you read somewhere that they spread the virus and that they can infect people, well, the World Health Organization as of yesterday said that there is no evidence that pets can infect humans or spread the disease. So I hope you don't do that because they are family and if you do plan on going on self uh, social distancing or self-isolation, then you know they are very good companions i mean i do a lot of things at home i work from home and lately i've been trying to do that more often and juancho has been such a great companion he's always made me made sure that my spirits are lifted just by having him around in fact he's here like while i'm filming come up you want to see hi yeah oh he's heavy hi Yeah, he's really healthy and happy. But he was sleeping and I woke him up. <laughs> so I'm only keeping appointments that do not require me to be in a huge crowd. And for most of the coming days, I will be at home just doing what I do here at home and only going out when it's necessary. So for the coming week, I actually have some scheduled shoots, but I did make sure that it will only be with a small group of people between two to four people at most i'll still be uploading videos and creating digital lifestyle content so you'll be seeing that in this channel in social media channels that i have and in the websites where you usually see my work and if something changes i'll probably make another video like this you know just us talking and me updating you on what's happening here so with that said thank you so much for being here and thank you for watching I hope that you stay healthy and that you are following the reminders from the authorities. And I really hope that we get through this soon enough. Alright, see you soon. Bye!